Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, POE Affliction League. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about the Wildwood Ascendancies I'm currently using for the Righteous Fire character that we're playing. I'm playing the RF Inquisitor, more specifically with the Utula's version, uh, although this would pretty much work for all of them. So before we get started and talk about that, I want to go ahead and jump into a T16 map to kind of show you guys the League mechanic. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on in there. And I'll also say that there is kind of like a transition phase if you want to be like kind of efficient, but it's not really like a big deal at all. So essentially what I mean by this is during the early stages of the game, and when I say early stages, I primarily mean the campaign. Uh, I was using the ascendancy that basically gives you Oath of the Ma uh, Magi, Magi, I forgot exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, essentially what that does is it's a two-pointer, so it's not on this current one that I'm using, but it's a two-pointer that connects down. And you can get either 30% increased movement speed if you don't have any sockets in your boots, uh, or you can get like the 50 elemental resistance if you don't have anything in your helmet. And that makes going through the campaign much easier. You don't really have to worry about resistance gearing as much. You can have crazy movement speed. So that's what I personally took. Now, when you get into here, this is the elite mechanic, there'll be like three sets of colors you can kind of find. There's purple, yellow, and um, blue, although the blue looks green. I swear I'm not colorblind. <laughs> so you want to kind of like not zoom right away, kind of like what I did there, force of habit, kind of charging around. You want to sort of see where they lead. Also, if you get confused, you can kind of see the little colors that you are uh, kind of accumulating down here. So you can see like what color scheme you're going into. Um, now, the reasoning on following the wisps rather than just running randomly is I do believe the wisps can lead you towards the NPCs and potentially even some bosses that you can find. So here's like the purple, right? See all the purple here? And there you go. It's actually, here would be uh, the uh, warlock guy. Now, I really would not recommend doing this in your maps, kind of like how I'm doing it now. I don't know. I personally feel it can just brick your maps, especially when you're starting out. My geared character here can still encounter... Oh, what is this thing? Uh, wait, what? I don't know what I'm fighting, but it just reduced my recovery. Wait, what is... Okay, what a nice video. I just wanted to talk about charms, and here I am literally dying. What is this thing? You recover life and energy shield. So I have like 4,000 regen, and uh, I don't know what this is doing. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't understand what this is. My mana is spent. I just have to run away from it? I, I am so confused. Is this like an anti-righteous fire boss? It's not very nice, GDG. I feel like there's a mechanic that I am just not doing, right? I don't know, actually, though, because it looks like there's just a giant ring that just, it just, like, pulses, and then you kind of just die if you're in it. GG, you would actually make anti-righteous fire bosses? I've got to be missing something. Surely there's a mechanic here, right? Uh, that's not good. Where did he go? Hey, where did he go? Oh, there he is. I can see, I can see that, like, red pulse right there. Okay, that shocked me. I don't even think the boss is hurting me. It's just I'm hurting myself. <laughs> this is a very unfortunate encounter. Okay, well, it died. Um, that's kind of cool. That's a lot of loot. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, well, yeah, so, uh, you know, more the reason to uh, follow the colors. You find some interesting things uh, whenever <laughs> you are indeed doing this. 
I will uh, state ahead of time as well, purple seems to be crazy chaos damage based when you're following them. I'm 79 chaos res and have died to chaos before here. Yellow seems to be extremely high um, physical damage, specifically if you encounter the troll shamans who throw a boulder on you, they'll just send you right to standard. And then blue also seems to be very high physical damage with these monsters that kind of look like Jade Hulks from the previous league we were playing in. Okay, so talking about the charms a little bit here. This little thing here gives you a backpack. Uh, I typically put like my maps in here that I'm running, some crafting materials, etc. But the charms are actually really cool. So this first charm I have is increased life regeneration rate, which is pulling from the Juggernaut Ascendancy. And then I have chance to gain an endurance charge when you're hit. This works out really well for face tanking certain monsters. It's a free way to generate endurance charges and then synergizes really well with this dual slot because you can get a fourth endurance charge here. So this is currently how I'm mitigating physical damage. I get four endurance charges. Basaffle's frame with Fizz taken as fire, so that's seven. Um, I've got a taste of hate currently. This was like pretty expensive, the later one I picked up. So seven plus 13 makes 20% Fizz conversion. And then I'm using the mastery here for another 10% conversion. So that puts me at 30% Fizz conversion to elemental with my res being 85, 83, 83, and chaos being 79. Then I have four endurance charges, so that's 16% physical mitigation, and then somewhere around like close to, you know, 30,000 armor. The other charm I'm using, which is also a really good one, is Consecrated Ground You Create applies 10% increased damage taken to enemies. This is a multiplier. Um, there are diminishing returns with how it increases on enemy stack, but for the most part, this is a very strong damage node for a single target, and I also got life regeneration right on there. Now, I'm not intentionally trying to go crazy on the life regenerate, it's just there's not really much that's being contested for me right now for the, the socket. Also, if I can get enough life regenerate, I could technically drop any, everything from here down in favor of a lot more damage. Uh, but then I would also have to make up with the HP scaling. So that's potentially something to do in the future. And then with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and clear this map now. And you guys can see kind of what the Wildwood is doing. So that mob right there is a double empowered rare. He will be very thick. Thankfully, they have gotten nerfed recently. Some of these mobs are ridiculous. Like some of them just become raid bosses, quite literally. I had Empowered Betrayal in my maps, uh, which is from June, and I could not kill them. Tora killed me. She's a physical boss. Um, she killed me with, sorry, she's a physical chaos, and uh, she almost one-shot me. And like I said, I have capped Chaos Res at 79, so there are some really monstrous combinations. So I just recently have kind of been doing the Wildwood um, before the maps. I Usually what I'll do is I'll clear my map, and then I'll go backwards and do the Wildwood. So this park map works great, for example, because I just do like a square, right? And then when I get there, I just trigger the Wildwood. Hello again, local. Also, I want to show a little example of Hexbloom. I know a lot of people are confused how it works. When I click this one flammability curse, watch the flammability proceed to... Okay, well, I, I guess it can proceed to crash. That's a thing, too. Um, yep. Also, just realized I'm on the wrong capture. I hope the video doesn't end up being like... <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Looks like there's uh, still crashing with Expedition. That's unfortunate. The Hexbloom basically proliferates your flammability. So as you are clearing, it will kind of like jump to the monsters. Pretty nice. Well, actually, that pretty much summarizes the video. We covered uh, charms, you know, the league mechanic, um, showcase of some stuff. So that's pretty much about it. Remember, if you guys like the video, don't forget to uh, like, share, share, and subscribe. Y y yeah. Uh, you, can, you can also catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys in the right class, boys.